Sagittarius, welcome to your heart spread for October. Do um, the whole month this one. I'm, I'm a day late on yours. I know it's the second. Normally, Sag, Capricorn, I get out every Friday, but I moved. I'm another day late, but we're rocking it. And uh, just going to read who's in your heart, really. Heart spread. Eight card spread using the Gilbert of Terra Royale. Um, and kind of look at it a little bit like synastry, see how you're interacting with whoever this is on your mind. This picks up, it don't, doesn't necessarily have to be someone you're with, you know. Um, definitely uh, someone you're thinking of. So a night shuffle, because I had a false start and do some noise. <laughs> oh my god, there's two beautiful, so you gotta uh, Google this. Uh, I don't know this one, but it's some kind of parakeet, small parrot, yellow. Parrot maybe, and they're just sitting up there, kind of a little, little bit like they're sitting like more than doves do. I can't get a picture of my elf, but I love that. That's a spirit messenger right there. There wasn't never one. Thank you guys. So we're coming into this. This is you. Black mentality, sad. Um, in terms of where your mind and heart is at in general around love and relationships. And then I want to kind of look at where your person is in general. This Taurin energy here, the hair font. Um, wow, uh, just look at this. It's like you come in like a popper, and there the hair font. So how's that going to work? So uh, someone's saving you. Hmm? Kind of look at how that's radiant. You know, or, or darn well enlightening you. This person could be religiously, spiritually enlightened. Doesn't have to be religious, spiritual enlightenment, you know. And right now I'm just looking kind of at your energy, sorry guys, and at your person's energy. And uh, I thought it'd be better up here, but apparently not. Um, but I could just see how that's going to work when you come together. I mean, they're going to be uh, uh, enlightening you, helping you in a lot of different ways. So let's see how you're reacting to them. King of Swords. Wow, you level up in terms of the way you react to them. And I don't know whether you overcame the lack mentality. You know, this could also read as a past position here, this way that you are. Uh, but when you're in relation to this person, <clears throat> this is the energy too of being very strong and confident and really, uh, you know, he's got, look, he's got this, I mean, he's a king, right? <laughs> But he's got his sword out of the sheath there, you know, like playing a tough guy. So <clears throat> this is a little bit in reaction to them. I mean, it could be really hot sexual energy here, Sag. Uh, if you have some air uh, going on for you, um, you could. Mars or something. So kind of wonder like if they're not coming on like a little bit too strong or preachy or something sad and they're like hey I'm the guru I'm the preacher but you know it could be a little defensive but I mean you're really like showing them your strongest self that's what I want to say it's like you went from oh my god I'm never enough and I don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet till the end of the month to I'm cool I'm way cool don't even fuck with me just in reaction to this person but I think it's, you know, you feel like you have to because they're up there. They're, here, they're coming in with this hair font energy. Now this is them, how they feel. Nine of Wands towards you here, Sag. Wow. That's tough. But them, this is their reaction to you. Just how they're feeling about you in this relationship, okay? Now I just said there's a long way to go for you from the Five of Pentacles to become the King of Swords. But now they've gone from the Hierophant, levels above even the King, in my opinion. You know, we're going to talk spiritual here, right? To the Nine of Wands. And that's feeling weary and burdened, you know. It's like they, they feel like uh, this would to me be your person saying, Sag, I've tried everything I can do because Wands are actions. I've tried everything I can do, Sag, and I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm kind of worn out right now. I haven't given up, but I don't know. i got to figure out something to do because, baby, they tried nine things. 
And I think this could be, I feel like this is you being kind of defensive. Let me uh, clarify that spirit uh, with the moon. Okay. So, not uh, insignificant. The uh, king of swords clarify with the moon. You see kind of similar colors there too. Uh, where I see the moon here, it's you feel something's unknown to you. This could be about yourself, but this could be also uh, intuition about the relationship um, that's triggering you. This could also be around Lilith stuff in the chart, uh, sinister chart. Look at that. You might get something off of the composite, but um, it could be this kind of reaction that you're having. And, uh, you know, if we're in this energy where we don't know, uh, and we just kind of suspect, you know, uh, it's like at the, uh, sometimes you have moon on, on Pluto or something can be like this, but also it comes with really wanting to know, kind of an attraction. And also I see this nine of wands being sexual. So you, it's like you guys have a lot of sexual connection. And I see like your partner's sad. It's almost like they, they really want the sexual uh, to lead to this kind of spiritual connection. You know, your partner here, you know, Aries, Mars, Scorpio, Mars, or something. Um, but, like, it's not. Even though, apparently, they're trying really hard. And there's just something here that making you defensive because you feel like you don't understand something. Let me look at what your advice is. Uh, I do weigh the bottom of the deck. We've got the Eight of Swords. It's appropriate. There's an Eight of swords in energy here somewhere. Uh, it's like this King of Swords here, Sag, is kind of like Eight of Swords, but just puffed up right now. And like when the moon comes out, maybe and it gets dark, it's not so easy. Uh, maybe you become like more of the Eight of Swords. Um, it's just something we're not seeing. So the advice from Spirit for you with your person, wow. I, there's no other way to see this, but be stable, be patient, know your value, know your worth and be strong and be there for them be solid for them um it, it, wow there's a, a real leveling up i mean spirits ask you to go now from the five of pentacles to the queen of pentacles to the queen of pentacles that doesn't understand five pentacles energy you know maybe she had a tough childhood so maybe she does at some level but you know uh, totally and this is your advice from spirit towards this person let's see what their advice is three of pentacles so i mean their kind of advice from spirit is they got to work harder on themselves this is what's being said sagittarius if you cross watch this what i really get out of this kind of simple and there's also a cooperative element with the three of pentacles but i love this deck because it to me it's a good worker card and i always say this is the work of the self the shadow work knowing yourself um examining your, your own heart and history and mind and uh, having your own goals in terms of love and everything and it's kind of doing this sort of self-work you know um, and I gotta see it as a little bit of a leveling up and it's so funny that you're coming from a lack mentality but I get the feeling Sagittarius that it's like your person is trying really hard to prove themselves to you and they come in as the hair upon you know They may have been married, and that's just what this hair font's uh, about here. Um, there could be an element to it, Sag, where somehow marriage to you is kind of sacred, and the fact that they're married meant, meant something. Wow. I tell you, I feel a relationship here. But look how robust this Ace of Pentacles is. I mean, powerful. This is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole, for the both of you, for the both of you are good. You have a relationship. There's a, they have to kind of work on themselves. And it's like, I think you're kind of there and it's what spirit's telling you. And maybe this, whatever it is you're not seeing, it's kind of like you, you're, you're not the five of pentacles, Sag. I mean, you, you are the queen of pentacles, Sag. And both of you, can have this start because spirit is raining now. Oh, it's awesome. Still got the parakeets up there. Chirping. 
So, uh, I mean, that's a, a, a new start, solid new start together as a couple. This is a composite. Now the outcome, two of swords. Wow. Let me think about this one for a minute. Um, two of swords energy. It's totally about this moon. I mean, you'll see here, there's the very similar colors. It's even very similar colors in the king of swords. Not your original feeling towards your person here. And then clarification, and now the outcome. You know, this is about you, Sag. It's like this person's willing to put in the effort. And Spirit is telling you you can make a solid beginning here. And maybe the way that you deal with Five of Pentacles energy of lack mentality is you invest something solid, you know. In this case, it's in the relationship. And you're being basically told by Spirit Sads that you can do this. You're not going to lose anything. You're very strong. You're Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, why the Two of Swords? I need to clarify this. There's still something you don't see, and I, I think now you, you believe it's something you're not seeing about this person. So that means you may believe um, they're not telling you the truth. Okay, this is, I just don't know, I just don't know. Right. Hopefully this rain shower will pass without us getting wet. Okay. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Uh, this is the final outcome, the Ace of Cups. It switches it quite a bit. So you have advice from Spirit to make a strong commitment, and your outcome is the Ace of Cups. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's fear of commitment. It's all equal to fear of commitment. Go ahead and make the commitment, and I think you're going to find that it feels really good. Make the commitment. It feels really good. All that stuff about Sag not commit. I, I, I commit. Right now, I commit. I love it. So, that's a beautiful reading for Sagittarius for October. Thank you, guys. Likes, shares, thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you, man.